Hello and welcome to a sit-down unboxing of Chill Chaos and the Wii U. We're not going to unbox me, that would be weird. I'm wearing a suit, we don't unbox people in suits. Why am I sitting down? Because this is the only table I have. I know, I could buy a bigger table, but I figured, you know what? This is good, I like sitting down, it's comfortable, and I feel like we get the connection. I'm sitting down, you're sitting down at the computer, maybe you're not, maybe you're sitting down in the car watching this on the phone, uh, but anyway, we share a common connection, and that's brilliant. So we're going to unbox the Wii U Deluxe Set. Uh, this is retails for $359, and it comes with the Wii U, the tablet, a couple of other things I don't really know about, a sensor bar, and some other shenanigans, that's why we're unboxing it. You see, I can't tell you everything that's inside before we unbox, that just wouldn't be fun. So we'll unbox it together, and hopefully we will unravel the magic, as well as the excitement. Now that I'm thinking, I should have put this table sideways. No, you know what, sideways, no fun. Sideways, sideways. So, let's get this bad boy out of here. Now, I'm honestly, I've been a fan of Nintendo since as long as I can remember. Uh, nothing else in the box. This is what the box looks like. Uh, for the most part, you have the diagram of it in the front. And then on the side, on the back, you have the Wii U logo, uh, the deluxe set, what it contains, and as well as visual of what it contains. So, a pretty standard box, nothing too revolutionary. <laughs> Get it? Because the Wii was going to be called the Revolution, and now it's the Wii U, so maybe... Okay. So I'm going to put that in my closet, because honestly, I don't get rid of game boxes at all. I still have the one from my original Xbox um, sitting there. And i got to be careful here, because it looks like it's upside down. Now again, I've been a fan of Nintendo since as far as I can remember, but the one thing that's killed me so far, has killed me as a consumer, has been their non-support after the first year. I mean, you get some good games, you get some AAA titles, but the third-party support and like the, the stuff that's supposed to follow to really make the gaming innovative kind of failed for me. I'm thinking about my Wii U, it is literally gathering dust for no reason other than the fact that I have no games to play on it. I play occasionally Mario with friends and Mario Kart with friends, but other than that, I'm sorry, it's uh, it's abysmal and it's been going on since the GameCube. Uh, this is the Wii U controller, this is actually the first time I'm holding it. Uh, it feels good. It feels actually, it's really light. I would say it's comparable to probably the original Xbox controller if you've ever held one, the original, the, the Z. It's big like that. Um, I'm a little, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised that the screen size is a little smaller. I thought the tablet was gonna be actual bigger, the screen size, less uh, brezel, that's the around it, less brezel around it, less controller, more tablet. Maybe this makes it more functional. It's kind of, if you ever held the original Sega Game Gear, this is kind of what it's like. A lot less though, but it's like a Game Gear. Um, and it comes, I believe, with an accelerometer in here, um, a gyroscope, uh, a couple of things I don't understand, and it's got a webcam on the front, and I believe it's got a built-in mic, so it's good for if you're going to use this as a regular tablet, if you're going to use, let's say, an iPad, with the web chat and everything. I don't know if there's support for it yet, but it has the features, so that's good they put it in there. Uh, this itself is holy shit. No, 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 that's not, it's not holy shit. It's actually the Wii U, but when you come to think of it, it's the same size as a, probably, I don't even know. I don't even know how to, uh, the original, the, no, the smaller PS2 in terms of length. If you had a smaller PS2, it's actually, this is really long. Uh, don't, that's what she said. Uh, she, uh, she's, she's kind of a slut sometimes. Uh, it's, it's relatively long. And it kind of looks like a small 360 when you think about it this way. Uh, it looks actually like a very much a small 360. Uh, it's black, which pretty much means fingertips and fingerprints galore. Um, same width as the Wii U, but it goes back very far. So you got the same height, same width, but again, it is extremely, extremely tall. Um, so the length is, is pretty huge. I never like these things on here. I don't understand. He said, yeah, it's French scratching, but sometimes I never even see these. It's like the Invisible Man just coming to screw you. Now, I hope you don't get touched by an Invisible Man, but sometimes I feel as if the Invisible Man is inside of us all, and we're all creepy sometimes. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm touching something that's really cool. Um, it honestly looks like a Western digital hard drive. Uh, I wonder if it's going to have like one, two. 32 gigabytes. Uh, model number for customers. Pretty much your standard thing on the back. Um, and that's what that looks like in terms of the Wii U. Now, I don't know what else is in the secondary box. I believe it's going to be cables, a stand, whatnot. Uh, the one thing I saw, the Wii U, it's a lot less powerful than, um, than what we would have hoped for. They're still silent on the CPU. It's an IBM chip, uh, multi-core, but besides that, we don't know. Let me just go over the back real quick. Uh, we have a HDMI port right there. We have the infrared sensor. 
which is for the sensor bar. We have AV and component outputs, which should be compatible with the Wii component outputs they gave us. So if you bought like Wii component cables, if you want to play it in 480p because the Wii didn't do true high, de high definition, you can use those, uh, especially if you're capturing with a hawk hog. Uh, for me, I capture with a hawk hog, so I play it with component. Uh, you then have the AC adapter, and then you have two USB cables, I'm assuming for either charging purposes or um, extra peripherals. So inside the secondary box, we will unravel. They pack stuff good over there in Japan. Holy crap. Seriously, in America, they just throw shit in a box. In Japan, it's actually got merit, and there's actually things inside of it. Okay, so let's begin to unravel this. Get that. My god, they gave us an HDMI cord. They're really cheap, though, unless you buy monster HDMI cords, in which then you get swindled. Okay, so more cardboard that we don't need. Now, we take a look at these two things, and I believe... If I read the box correctly, well first you know what, since I don't know what those are, we'll just put those aside. These could be things that use to spread the anus, I don't know, it's not really, it's interesting, but I never use stands myself. Uh, I know the 3DS has a stand at a docking station, but I just, I just don't use it. Uh, I, I find no purpose in it, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, I just put stuff down and that's really it. So we'll save that for now. I uh, got another one as well, these have wheels on it, what are we, you playing Mario Kart already? I'm not ready for this. I don't know what this is. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, you're learning just as much as I'm learning, so uh, uh, excuse, excuse me if I don't really know exactly what we're looking at. Uh, Nintendo Land, this I believe is kind of the way they show off the tablet, how it's used, and exactly what they're going to try and innovate, hopefully in games in the future. Um, so you can comp this is comparable to, I guess, Nite uh, Kinect Sports, hope what they're hoping to get out. And they have here uh, Yoshi's Fruit Cart, Octopus Dance, Donkey Kong's Crash Course, so a couple of fun little mini-games. It's a theme park based on Nintendo's Greatest Worlds of different games. Uh, again, their online support and their online plan at this point is a little, in my opinion, abysmal. They're going for more of a social aspect. They're allowing you to communicate with others, draw with others, convey thoughts with others, but not really chat and totally play with others. I mean, one of their launch games, which we have right here, uh, Super Mario Brothers, you, you would think would be a perfect candidate for online play. You play with three other buddies while you're playing online, boom, you're just doing Mario? No, no online play, couch play only. Same thing with Zombu. Another, you know, you got a first person action game or a survival game. No online, like couch co op only. So, a bit of a disappointment. I know the developers of Zombie U said they want for their sequel to include online support, so we'll see what happens. And Nintendo's got to get their act together. Whether they got to pay people billions of dollars, they don't have billions, millions of dollars, say, here, include an online component. You know what? Go for it. Because I still feel the online support Nintendo has right now is comparable to when Xbox Live launched back in 2003, 2004. I feel it's abysmal. I will learn more. They have the Miiverse and the Mii Universe in which you can kind of interact with other little characters, but in terms of head-to-head -head action and really playing with others, I'm yet to be impressed. Uh, more of the game guide, instructions in many different languages. We have French, we have El Espanol, and we have Le English. Uh, pretty much this is going to be the very basic stuff, like how to plug in uh, which we all already know. The Wii U operations manual, so if it overheats, explodes, dies, and or kills you, you know how to diagnose that. The power brick, finally! We get power bricks. Man, this is comparable to the Xbox 360. My word of choice today has been comparable. I guess in a unboxing, the way you can compare things, obviously, uh, would be... Ow. I just hit myself right in the eye. That is not fun. I was about to mention you could probably kill someone with this, but I didn't think it was going to be about taking out their eye. Um, this brick, nothing is going to beat the original Xbox power brick, or the Xbox 360 power brick. Nothing's going to beat that. That thing is a monstrosity. Uh, but the Wii, the original Wii did have a power brick, if you remember. Uh, it's a bit small, a bit smaller than this one. This one's a decent size. I like it when they don't have the power brick, but again, if it keeps the console size down, uh, then I guess the power brick is necessary. So, not bad. Again, you have your AV or AC plug to the back of it, and then your wall adapter. It's a two-prong, not a three-prong, so there is no ground on that. Uh, if I know electricity. Now, what am I looking at here? Another... It seems to be a charger for the controller. Um, I wonder if you can charge the controller USB as well. I'm not sure. Uh, what they've given me right here is a charger for the controller to be plugged into the outlet on the wall, uh, which is interesting because... Where I stand, there's really, where I play, where I'm going to play this game, there's really, really no wall outlets. So I don't know the battery life, but this is it. It's a little brick, a uh, little AC adapter, a uh, little plug-in, and honestly it should go right in the bottom. No, that's something else. It'll go right in the top of the tablet. Again, this tablet is extremely light. Right up here, charge it kind of like you're charging a uh, one of their handhelds. 
It's, I'm telling you, this is extremely light. You, I don't even know how to express that besides the fact that if you drop it, you're going to kind of feel like it's just going to float to the ground. And this is your standard sensor bar. I'm going to keep this wrapped up for now because uh, I'm not even going to unwrap it. I'm going to use the Wii one on the Wii U. So standard sensor bar in case you're using the Xbox, the original Wii controller with here. Because again, I don't know how much the tablets go for separately, but um, you can play with the tablet, the Wii remotes, the Pro Controller, a whole different assortment of controllers. I think there's a whole like four different controllers you can use. The tablet, the Wii remote, um, the Pro Controller, and the Classic Controller can, I'm pretty sure, are all compatible with the Wii U. Uh, in my opinion, I would have changed the title to a Wii, like, you know, away from the Wii U. It kind of feels like it's not really an additional, an upgrade to the Wii. Kind of like with the 3DS. I didn't feel like it was really an upgrade to the 3D, to the regular DS. It was, and it's new hardware and everything, but consumer-wise, it seems like the same thing. Plus, in terms of promotion, this thing got overshadowed by Halo, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, all the triple launch titles. I didn't even, I haven't seen one commercial, I kid you not, I have not seen one commercial for the Wii yet. I hope you have, because I really hope they do sell well, because if Nintendo's willing to take risks. We've seen it with their tablet, we've seen it with the Wii Remote. They like taking risks, they like being first to take those risks. So I appreciate that. I hope they get some success, and I hope maybe the success yields them to, you know, I don't know, they have so much, they made so much money from the Wii! I can't believe online support is still lackluster. If they want to go for the casual social gaming, the sitting on your French, playing with your friends, sitting on the French, sitting on your bench, sitting on your couch, playing with your friends, that's fine. But they can't forget the fact that we are in the 21st century, and a lot of friends are online. You meet people online, and you do play online. Um, so we'll see if they get their act together. Uh, my camera turned off, so I apologize. So, uh, they kind of have the same idea where they're trying to endorse it, but we'll see if it truly allows us to play online with people. I'm telling you, I want to play this with friends online and have a good time, but instead I'm just going to have to, you know, I don't know, rent a hooker to play with me. Has anyone ever done it? I'm sure. I mean, Holden Caulfield, he rented a hooker, rented, <laughs> paid for a hooker or a prostitute just to talk to. Uh, I can also pay for a prostitute just to play video games with. I mean, just uh, strictly platonic video game action. Not even like when you lose, you take off a piece of clothing. It's simply for, you know, fun. We're going to go back here uh, just to get a look at what these things are. Uh, we have the Wii U gamepad cradle, the Wii U gamepad stand, and the Wii U console stand. Okay, so nine is the console stand. So we take a little look at these anal stretchers, which are these things. These are the console stands. Um, actually, I guess that makes sense. They have little uh, rivets over here, and you can kind of, I hope, just Stick it in just like that. Stick it in just like that. And then you have it where you can do it like this. So that's how it stands up. Or I guess you can sit down. It's actually, it really doesn't matter. It elevates a little bit. There are, there's a fan right over here. No, this is a grill. There's no fan. It's just grills to vent heat. There is a fan under here, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to sit it so it's like this. Uh, this way, that wouldn't make any sense because then you'd be inserting it on the top. Uh, but don't sit it on the fan. Keep it off the fan. So it's going to be handled like that, um, which looks good. And then you have the stand. I believe this was what they were saying was the stand. So you take this. This thing is so light. And uh, yeah, it's a stand like that. So I guess if you just want to watch something. Or just keep it upright. That works. Serves its purpose. And uh, this right here was a Wii U cradle. I don't know what exactly that means, uh, or what's the difference between a cradle and something else. I don't know what the difference is. Can I charge through the cradle? Okay, through the Wii U, you can charge through the cradle. So you can essentially, um, you can put the Wii U in or the tablet in here, rest it in there, and you can plug in the cord into here to charge it if you don't want to charge it from the tab. So you can charge it in the cradle, which I guess is a good idea instead of setting it down like that. Um, so that definitely works. So those are the accessories with it, and the HDMI cable they included. There is no composite cable. Did I overlook that? Huh. No, that would be silly. Um, as far as I can tell, from what I've unboxed, unless I'm missing something, they have given you no composite cable. So if you don't have a Wii, because um, a Wii it would be the same cable as a Wii cable, if you don't have a Wii, and you don't have an, H an HD compatible TV, if you still have standard definition, you cannot play the Wii U unless you go out and buy some separate cables. That is very silly. I don't know how much it cost them, if it was really going to keep the price down, or unless they thought everyone that was buying a Wii U was going to have a Wii, or at least an HD TV. Um, but if you have a standard definition TV and you do not want a Wii, um, make sure to buy yourself a component or composite cable depending on your kind of TV that you need. Otherwise, you will be SOL. So, uh, heads up on that. Other than that, that is the unboxing. Uh, the games themselves, the Wii U games, 
Um, it's not that it really matters. They're not Blu-ray discs, and they're not DVDs. They are Samsung discs. So one thing you'll notice is the edges are rounded, completely rounded. Uh, it feels weird, but it feels cool. Uh, so they're not Samsung discs. They're not uh, Blu-rays or DVDs. They're, they're manufactured by Samsung specifically for Nintendo. Uh, there's no Blu-ray uh, drive in here, so you can't watch Blu-ray movies. They hold 25 gigs single layer, and I don't know what the dual layer gigs hold, so it's the same capacity as a Blu-ray. I don't know if it was licensing issues or why they chose not to go with Blu-ray, or if they just wanted the control of it themselves since they were working with Samsung on it. I'm not sure. But it is not a Blu-ray, so it is not a Blu-ray player. It will play the Nintendo DVD, so I'm pretty sure you can use it as a DVD player. It will play the, the Wii U's, and I'm pretty sure it also plays the GameCube games. So it should be completely backwards compatible, as well as their online library in which you can download old games, classic games, as well as new releases. I was talking to my addiction. Um, he was checking the online uh, Miiverse out, and they did have new titles uh, available to download day one. So he was looking at Madden, Zombie U, so all the new titles you could download. Whether that's going to stay from the future, instead of going out to buy a game, you can immediately download it. I'm not sure. Again, it's only 32 gigs. There it looks like there's no swappable memory, so you're stuck with 32 gigs for the time being. So you don't want to download everything because you'll completely clog up the hard drive, as well as that may piss off retailers because now retailers are directly competing with Nintendo. I don't know whose idea that was, it's convenient, but they should have gave them like a window, like a couple of month window before they start putting their services online, before they put full games online. That's just solely my opinion, other people may feel differently. Um, so this is the Wii U unboxing, I hope you got a look at it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Again, there seems to be, um, I don't know if a shortage, but it seems to be that the Wii U is not selling out as fast as the Wii. People were saying that they were able to walk into Walmart and pick up a copy. This came in the mail today from Walmart Online. Um, so if you're interested, if you like the games, you can pick one up. If you want to wait, totally wait, because Nintendo um, Nintendo may release better things. They may be a bit uh, more risky on their games, but for the time being, if you want an upgrade to what you have, or if you don't have a Wii already and you just want something different, go for it. If not, completely wait, because Nintendo usually revises things, except for consoles. They actually never revise consoles. They revise the controller, they just revise the actual DS's and the handhelds. So, probably, it's probably going to stay like this, maybe a different version, maybe a different color, but for the time being, this is the Wii U. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been a sit-down unboxing by Chilled Chaos. I will see you guys later. That's outro. Play the outro, Bobby! Bobby.